This video will show you how to use a rotating plotter to determine your true course, plot your course first of all, and also uh, determine the distance between your departure and your destination. First of all, we're using a rotating plotter. Um, there is a fixed plotter that is a little different. Uh, the method of using the fixed plotter is different than the rotating plotter. Um, but I'll cover that in another video. So let's use a rotating plotter for this uh, problem. The problem is to plot a course, a straight line course, from Chattanooga Airport, CHA, to Knoxville Airport, TYS. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a straight edge of my plotter right between the two airports and I'm going to draw a straight line between the airports and start at the center and I'm going to finish at the center of the destination airport. <clears throat> then I'm going to determine the true course. Now the way to determine the true course is to look for a line of longitude uh, right there that crosses over your course and then put the center of the plotter, the center, over that point uh, where the line of longitude crosses over the course. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to line up the course with the top edge of the plotter and then place the center of the rotating plotter over that point. And then I'm going to rotate the plotter so that north, or zero, is lined up with the line of longitude. Since I'm going in this direction, this will be my true course. Looks to be about 0, 0,52. I'll kind of give you a close-up view of that, 0, 0,52. Okay? So the true course is 0, 0,52. Now I need to measure the distance. And remember, we use nautical miles, and we're using a sectional, so we need to use the sectional scale on the plotter. There you have nautical and sectional. So I'm going to use that edge to measure the distance. Now I'll put the center, the end of the plotter, right over the center of the departure airport. And then I'll measure to the center of the arrival airport. And that looks to be about 75 nautical miles. Okay, I'll give you a little close-up of that. 75 nautical miles. Okay, so that would be our distance between the two points.